Hey, what's going on? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Recently, video ads have really been taking off, really been doing very well with Facebook advertising. And this is mostly because Facebook has really made a push here lately over the past few months of wanting to be a big part of the video world. They want to compete in the YouTube type of realm. So for their advertisements and things, they're really giving us low cost per click, low cost per view. So it's a great time to start utilizing video, as you've probably seen I've been talking about a lot recently, with our advertising. So today, I wanna walk you through the process of creating a video retargeting ad. So we've had this shirt been running. I showed you guys a few campaigns here earlier uh, with this shirt. And we're going to do a retargeting ad now to the viewers that have came to this page um, over the past month here during the graduation season. So what we need to do is first off create our video. And it's really kind of the hardest part of the whole process or the longest part of the whole process. It's not hard at all. All you need is a screen capture program. So you can find something like Camtasia on Mac here. I'm using ScreenFlow. There's programs like Jing, which is free, and a lot of other good ones out there that you can use to capture your screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that screen capture program with a PowerPoint creation program. So Keynote here on Mac works or PowerPoint on Windows, um, just to create a little slideshow that we can record. We can record our voice and the voiceover on top of that and just make a quick 30, 45 second video that says, hey, don't forget, you wanna grab this shirt, don't miss out before it's gone, you know, something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and create that whole video process. So step one is going to be creating the keynote presentation. Oh, so let's do that. I want to do a new, there we go. All right, so we'll go with a white background and we just need kind of the square, the, the, the basic square of the video. So what we'll do is we'll maybe do a picture of the, the shirt. Something like this. I'm not sure how we can twist this. I don't use Keynote that often. Maybe something like this. Add a few other colors. See, simple stuff here. There's got to be a way to rotate it. I want to spin it a little bit. All right, that works. All right, so that's our slide one there. We could even have it one shirt and you could have text here, you know, don't miss out or something like that. All right, so now we'll go with another slide. And we had Kelly do a little pose for us. So we'll use that one. The real life always helps a little bit. Thank you, Kelly. And then you can always email like your buyers and stuff if you've had a campaign going a long time, get these real life shots, it helps, um, especially in your video ads. So that can be kind of just our slideshow there. We'll add some text.
And then we'll give them a little call to action. Call to action. The steel rocks. All right, and that's a little cloak link there. On the front here, we'll maybe put like congratulations, graduates. that text. Congratulations, graduates. We'll add one more. All right, so this is our video that we'll record. We can even add a little transition in between, which I am pretty clueless on keynotes. But with PowerPoint, we could have like the slides transition into like a fade or something like that. So I'm not sure where to do that, actually. All right, that's okay. We'll figure that out later. Animate, maybe. to uh, dissolve so maybe All right, so let's take a look at it, play it. This is what it will look like. We'll take that off there. Slide one, slide two. Actually, I actually have two monitors here, so on my monitor you can't see, it's showing the actual slide, the, the initial slide. All right, so that did work for me, and we'll go ahead and record that right now, and you'll see exactly what's going on. All right, so. We have screen flow here. We have the video created. This is screen flow. Um, I'm actually recording what I'm doing right now, so I'm going to have to, I guess, stop this recording and record the, the video transition uh, with a little voiceover. And then uh, I'll be right back, show you guys the final product, and then we'll upload our video ad. All right, guys, so we have the final video here. It's just under 30 seconds. Nothing very long, we could even loop it maybe. So very simple stuff, as you saw. Small amount of words, 
going to export this now, create it into an actual video. So I'll be retargeting vid1. Let that quickly export. Now we can go ahead and create the actual ad that we want to make. So we're going to go ahead and do this in the power editor here. Everything should be uploaded. Go ahead and create a new ad. We'll create a new one here. We're gonna go. We could either go video views or you could go website conversion. It really depends on how you want to go with it. If I'm creating kind of a, a initial video to create a custom audience, then I might go video views. For this one, since it's a retargeting ad, I'm gonna go website conversions. Create new U.S. women. <clears throat> go 18 to 24 on the first one here. Video retargeting. Harry Potter. And mobile. Use existing pixel. Video one. All right, so now we need to choose the post and the fan page we want to be associated with, which will go from our nerd page here. And then we're going to add a video, the URL. Our headline. Link description. Not found in stores. Available only for a limited time. Click here to buy yours now. All right, now we need to upload our video we just created. What I call it? I'll be retargeting video. Let that do its thing. We'll process the video here. Select that one. Video captions, call to action, shop now. Use our URL tags you want. We have that going. Make sure everything is set up correctly. Have one with Kelly. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we go to the ad set section here and we'll change our targeting. We'll go $10 a day, $5 a day. Audience. Set 18 to 24 for this one. We'll go women. I'm going to go Harry Potter. $5 a 
funny, my uh, flex is gone. Oh no, this is a retargeting ad. So actually we need to go with the custom audience that I was, I had from the beginning, excuse me. There we go, we'll take that out. We'll actually take that out. Oh. There we go. So I need to change this. I'll be the retargeting custom audience. That'll be 2015. All right, we're going mobile only. All right, looks good. Now we just need to create that one and we have our retargeting add up and uh, good to go so there you go that's how you go through the whole process of creating a video for your ads this one was a retargeting ad that we're getting up there um, you can do these for collections ads where you have a bunch of pictures in one and as you can see the biggest process here is really just creating the video and here this week I have a solution for you that I think you're gonna really enjoy it's helping speed up the process with us quite a bit we can really pump out some quality videos that get the retarded and get people back to our offer so hope you guys enjoyed this my name is Travis Patel if you have any questions concerns comments feel free to hit me up and I will help as much as I can so have a good one guys talk to you later